Restorationists painstakingly bringing sixth-century columns back to full color. This Italian team has been working since 2013 to restore the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem in the occupied West Bank, which Christians say was built on the site where Jesus was born. It's a mammoth effort which has already yielded some surprising results. A hidden angel was recently uncovered. It had been hidden under plaster for decades. Durante la, um when we started restoring the plaster, we used a thermal camera to find gaps in the walls, and that's when we noticed something unusual. From there, we did some research to find what was hidden under that big stain. Turns out it was the mosaic of an angel from the year 1155. It was completely covered by plaster. This discovery brings the number of angels in the church to seven. Their outstretched hands are all pointing in the direction of the cave where Jesus is believed to have been born. The church was originally built in 339 AD, but it was rebuilt in the 6th century after being destroyed in a fire. This work is very important for a restorer. It's the center of the Christian European civilization. Because of that, from a historical, artistic and spiritual point of view, it's everything, the center of the world. This means everything. The site has long been a source of pride for Christians across the Middle East, many of whom have been targeted in recent years. More than two million visitors flock here on good years. On a personal level, this experience made me very aware. Living on a restoration site 24 hours a day, in contact with tourists and priests of different religions, is challenging, both psychologically and in terms of the work involved. But in the end, it's very rewarding. But the restoration work is threatened by limited funding. The Palestinian authorities are looking for a further 7.5 million euros to complete the nearly 10 million already received. Until then, the team will continue revealing the hidden treasures of one of Christianity's most important sites.